Good morning. Good morning. How are you? It is it's December. It's, it's like almost Christmas time. What? It's almost Christmas time. Kind of crazy, isn't it? Wasn't it just 4th of July? Yes, it was. Independence Day. Uh, so it's uh, it's it's pretty amazing. Uh, and, and, and I hope that your Christmas time and Christmas shopping is going okay and all that stuff because it can get a little nutty. It can try your patience. Gene, what's up, buddy? Uh, yeah, you know what? All this stuff can try your patience, uh, and it can try your patience not only with with um, uh, with people on the outside, but you know everybody. You know, it can try your patience with um, your loved ones and the like. And 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 I know that we hit on patience last time, but but Deb mentioned it um, last night, and we need to. We really need to hit home on how important that is and 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 how what you we should be learning to do really is to live a, a lifestyle of patience um it, because it takes practice to do it, it does it just it just takes practice to do and i think that it hit me uh this week because um as you all know last week i said i was on vacation for a few days and we had some things to get done around the house here. And um, it kind of made me aware of what it's going to be like when we retire. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and having patience with each other and what we have to do together. And, you know, and he may not do things the way I want them done. And I, I am not, I know I'm not doing things <laughs> the way he wants them done. So it required me to uh, have some patience and to focus on, you know, on how you are going to change yourself because the, don't ask him to change. Um, he works in the evening, so he's here during the day. That and He has a routine of what he does. And as you get old, get older, you need that. I, you know what? It, it sort of, it, it, it's kind of funny. You start off with a routine as like a youngster, like an infant. And then, you know what? You need that routine to make sure that you don't get grumpy or you don't get tired or whatever. And as you get older, you sort of, you need that too. <laughs> you, need that the, you, know, you, you need that the other side too. And I do, you know, when I have a routine, you know, um, I, I, I've worked in the evening. I, it's been a while since I've, Got up at six o'clock in the morning and went to work. Um, my job starts at three thirty in the afternoon, and um, so I have a routine how I do things. Mm -hmm. uh, and I found out that I am more of a morning person. I guess. Well, well, you have to be because you know you. I have to go to work. <laughs> your job morning. starts a lot earlier and yes. ends a lot earlier, earlier in, 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 you know, in the day than mine. So yeah, mm -hmm. so. So I, um, as I always say on here, I get up and I go and, and I walk in the mornings. Not every morning. I do it like every other morning thing. So I'm up no later than 7 o'clock. And, um, and I always <laughs> nudge him. <laughs> uh, and, and, and sometimes, well, as I, as I'll be honest, not, not recently. But sometimes I say yes and sometimes I say no. Yeah. More no. More no recently than yes, honestly. And so I nudge him and I say, you want to go with me? And and he'll look out to make sure it's not too dark for me to go walking. And and he'll say yes or no. So I'm out then. And then once I go walking, I do my 30-minute thing. Then I come in and I usually have my quiet time where I sit and I... I read my scriptures, I pray, I do, and, and that is such a good thing for me to get my mind together. It keeps me out of depression, it keeps me out of uh, overeating and stuff, but to get myself together in the mornings and, and, and feel, you know, connected with my maker. So it's probably good that some mornings I say no. <laughs> probably. And, um, well, this week, sometimes I went later. So that's, that's the true. days that you would go with me. Sure. Sure. 
So, but um, it required patience. It requires patience. Because did I go one day? You did. One day. Oh. One out of many, really. I'm, I'm, I'm not tooting my own horn, but hey, Vinny. Um, but, uh, yeah. Go ahead. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, you're fine. <laughs> Bitch, I have patience. Good. <laughs> Good. You know, it, and um, so that's, again, so routine is important, and getting used to people's routine is important. And, 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 and simply understanding that not everybody will think like you do, not everybody, even your spouse of 31 years. Oh, by the way, um, if you missed it last week, for, first of all, shame on you, but if you missed it last week, last Wednesday was our 31st wedding anniversary. Yes. And last Monday, we went out. 31. We were on the spot with Deb and Will. We went out to Armature Works. Yes. We went back to Armature Works. We were there for the, la the Friday beforehand. Saturday. Saturday beforehand. There were 12 million people in Armature Works that Saturday. <laughs> it was in, Flo was in Florida. It was a crazy place. It was in Florida, and, and it had been cold, and it was one of the first evenings where it was nice, and there were 12 million people there. Mm -hmm. And they all drove separately. In different cars. <laughs> so it was crazy. It was crazy. It was, it was much nicer. Uh, hey, Dwayne. Uh, Bob Hunt. Hey, you know what? It was So it was much, much nicer. Uh, and if you live in the Tampa Bay area and you want to go to Armature Works, you got to go like on a Monday morning at like at nine o'clock. It's awesome. It's awesome. And uh, make sure you watch those series of videos. They're up. They're they're up on YouTube. Um, thanks, Gene. Thanks. I appreciate that. Um, so they're up on YouTube. So you can go to our YouTube channel. You you just you just search for Deborah Lawson on YouTube. Hey Tessa, uh, how are the boys? Um, and um, you, can, you, you know you, you can check out. Yeah, actually, last week because you were off, we did we uploaded like four videos on the YouTube. And I have one to upload today. I did a haul yesterday, did, and I got to upload it. Did you do that haul when we got back? Yes, I did. Oh, we went but we went back to um, to Walmart for the pickup, and um, it was in the middle of my nap time, so I got up and I drove and I came back and got the bushes out of the car, put them on the counter, and then went back to bed. So I missed it all. Yes, you did. I did. It's part of my routine. Uh, in any case, so that's cool. So, so you want to check out the YouTube channel because there's stuff on the YouTube channel that's not here on Facebook. Um, and what you're gonna start, I think, is when we start finding out when the new year starts, there's probably gonna be a lot more content on Facebook than I mean on YouTube than there is on Facebook. So, you, so you might want to check that out. So you want to, to subscribe. subscribe and know when we post new things. And you want to uh, like and comment. We want to hear your comments and sure. what you have to say, good or bad. Good, good or bad. Because we're practicing patience. And I will delete your butt if you're ugly. <laughs> it's easy. I have the power of the pen. So, you but know, we want those views. Yeah, because a view is a view, is a view is a view. Yes. You ain't got to like it, you just got to watch it. <laughs> so, back to the patience thing. This, I was uh, studying, and uh, as you will see on our YouTube channel, we went shopping um, and bought some um, plants for Christmas, and then we found this little, I don't know if it's an antique clock. Or it's whatever. an older clock, about 20 years old, and did you notice that I hung it last night? That's what I was going to say, because <laughs> I'm the type of person... When I get something and I want to get it started and stuff like that, I do it right away. And I want it done. And I had asked him to hang where, told him where I wanted the clock to be hung. And um, and where I want those pictures that we painted when we did painting with the twist. Um, I want those hung. And as you can see, there's... It's, it's not hung yet. <laughs> and the clock sat there for a few days and so I reminded him on Saturday I want this done here and I want this done there and then um, they didn't get hung and then uh, I, I but I I'm practicing patience and not everybody don't do things the way Debbie does them um, <laughs> and imagine <laughs> what's up Tony and so um, yesterday we went to church and we then and I ordered I ordered the groceries actually Saturday that's the good thing about the new Walmart thing you can order them and then let them know when you want to pick them up 
So we went to church and now I'm trying to get the Christmas decor going here and I did some of that. I mean, and at the same time I'm cooking meals for the week. Delicious meals. So, um, so I'm doing all of that and he takes his Sunday nap and, um, and my, my clock still wasn't hung, but I'm, I'm believing. I was believing. And so uh, after I got everything done, the kitchen cleaned up and all that thing and stuff, I didn't get all my decorations up. But then um, I, I, I just looked at my clock and said, well, I guess I'll eat and get done tomorrow. And I went to bed. And then this morning when I got up and I was out here doing my little study and stuff like that, and I looked up and guess what? I hung the clock last night before I went to bed. <laughs> uh, it was one of those things that um, that was just in my things to do, and um, I got to it. And and yes, and it was it was stupid late last night or really crazy early this morning, but I put it up. Um, it was and already. And I just had to be patient as to when it was going. It was going to go up when he wanted to do. Um, when it just, well, I guess, when it's comfortable, made sense for me to do. Uh, so it's up. And the other and and the paintings that I show you are going to go up. Uh, they would have gone up too, but there was nowhere to hang them where if you wanted them without breaking out a hammer and making a bunch of noise at, at, you know, at two in the morning. Or they would have gone up too, because I was in that mode. I was in the mode of just go ahead and knock this out. Um, so they'll go up this morning, um, probably after you go to work, probably. But they'll go up this morning. Um, yeah, I gotta go back to work. Yay! Yay! So sad. I thought you were saying yay to get me out your hair. <laughs> I don't even have any hair. Still on any hair for you to get out of, but no, no. So no, they'll probably go up this. They'll probably go up this morning because um, it's going to take um, some hanging stuff. But we'll get that done. But uh, and that's the deal, though. Uh, I think patient people, like I wrote in, in the comments, patient people stay married. Uh, patient people win the day, really. Uh, you know, uh, that's really the deal. And, and, and I know that sometimes it's tough to be patient. Um, sometimes you have to stop. Because when I was younger, that that whole situation with the clock and stuff, we it would have been a blown out fight. We would have been fighting probably all weekend because I wanted my clock on. I want this, blah, 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 blah. But you have to practice patience. Let people work on their own, in their own time. Let people do things in their own time. So uh, whenever you're frustrated and you feel like your partner is not, not moving fast enough, not doing what you want done, and don't get me wrong, I'm not perfect. I still slip sometimes. and But because I'm patient. He's more patient than I am. I, you know, I slip and I say things and I do things that, you know, can cause... cause uh, conflict but all in all I'm learning after 31 years we still learn you no, still, still learn, learn. And, and, and you still and, and you still have to practice um, you know it, it, it goes back to I mean patience goes back to um, actually for me it's you know it's kind of scriptural in, in, in the sense that we have to I mean if you have to wait on God you, I mean you certainly know that you're going to have to wait on the people around you um, and if you combine that with, be, you know, with the, um, the ability to, um, control that fleshy thing in the middle of your mouth between your teeth, um, uh, because yeah, exactly. That, that sometimes, you know, the, the strikes the match of conflict. So you have to be able to, as best of your ability to control that, because that's all part of it. Uh, so a lot of people will say, well, they're patient, but then they go around striking matches I'm waiting, just setting fires everywhere, mm -hmm. um, and that you know what. So you're really, so you're really not patient. Or complaining to other people about it and going on, and the other person gets angry with that person, and they they don't even know. <laughs> that. Yeah, your friends get mad at your spouse. I mean, your friends get mad at your spouse mm -hmm, because you complain. What about what they're not doing or what's going on, and and they're angry with him. And don't like him simply because what you have been Because I didn't come right home from the clock store and put the picture up. 
But wasn't it nice to wake up and find a nice surprise? Wasn't that nice? Yes, it was. Get up in the morning, didn't even know, didn't even, and, and I was so quiet, didn't even know what was happening. I did. Bingo, 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 boingo. Uh, again, uh, because sometimes it just, you know, you know, it just takes time for stuff to happen. Um, I teach saxophone, flute, and clarinet. You guys know that, um, and be, and I and I have mostly, mostly kids as students, and people will always say to me, "You must be so patient." <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Not really. Been doing that just a little bit longer than we've been married. This is my thirty-second year of private teaching, um, but I just know that certain things take time. There's a. Th 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 Nothing happens instantaneously. Nothing happens because you, first of all, you want it to happen or you know how to do it uh, or you've seen it before or you've seen somebody else do it. Nothing happens instantaneously. Nothing. So, especially when you're dealing with other folks. So, sometimes you just have to, you know, it's like the thing you teach your kids, right? Sometimes you have to wait. Sometimes you just have to hold, like, what's that phrase? Hold your mouth. Is that the phrase? Keep your mouth. Keep your mouth? My grandfather. <laughs> Keep your mouth? Keep your mouth. And just hang on. Because uh, I, I have found that in my life that a lot of times, if if, if I wait, it, it's sometimes it's better, better it's better than, it's better than it was if you wanted it like that. Sometimes it's better because it's like chili. You can't eat the chili just I mean in the pot as soon as it gets hot. Hot enough to eat and cook. Everybody knows that that's not good chili. It'll burn. Oh, well, yeah. And, it, and, it's and it's not tasty. Mm -hmm. You got to wait for that thing to, you know, all the... All the seasonings the to mingle together. And, <laughs> you got to wait for it. And sometimes you got to wait a day. Sometimes you got to put that thing in the refrigerator and you can break it out the next day. So some things take time. Uh, nothing nothing happens instantaneously. So, we, so you know, it, it's a really good idea to practice it. It's easy to go off like that. It's really simple. And most of us have the ability to do that. Uh, I think that, that, that people who are patient will win the day. People who are persistent um, and patient. And I, and, and I think that that's... When, when sometimes people look at people who are patient, they think they're passive. Yes. And that's what I, I think that... I think that you're not doing anything. You know, I'm... I'm I want it done. I want it done now. Let's go. Let's go. And I'm a type of person that speedy, speedy, let's get it done. Let's get it done. And sometimes you miss things, you know, that are important when you're working that fast. And um, I have had to learn that at work because I was a speedy learner. I was a speedy worker and moved right up. And sometimes you miss out on things that you need in the future that will help you if you are going too fast. So, and I tend to think that when I when I see him, you know, that he's not doing something that I want done or- Or, or it doesn't look like I'm doing anything. Yeah, it looks like he's just sitting here twiddling his thumbs or whatever. It's like, you don't even care. Why aren't you doing it? It's the brain thing that I talked about before. It's the brain thing. Uh, and what I've been working on all weekend is a way to expand our Avon channel. Uh, I've been watching videos and even taking notes with a pen on a piece of paper. Crazy, ain't it? Old school. OG, original gangster stuff. Um, so sometimes I'm sitting here and I'm doing that kind of trying to expand the YouTube channel. Uh, you know what? That kind of stuff. So it. Um, so, so again, I know sometimes it looks like you know they're not doing anything, but a lot of times they are. A lot of times they are. Uh, in, in, in a case like hanging a picture, there there may, there may be other consideration. I mean, there may be other considerations that you hadn't thought about. Mm -hmm. um, do we have all the stuff to hang this hang, hang this picture? Do we have all? To, I mean, is this stuff that we have? Is it going to actually hold it? Or I'm going to put it up there and come out in the morning and have it crash to the floor. Uh, but I put it up there right away, um, just with the stuff we had. You know, there, there may be considerations. So sometimes you just have to wait. Be, and trust and just be pa and just be patient um now when you're out and about shopping 
uh, out in the Christmas rush because people are nuts. God bless them. They're incredible. Um, they are ridiculous. Uh, and you wonder how any of them got their driver's license. <laughs> and you wonder if any of them actually have a driver's license. <laughs> Forget how they got them. You know, there's no way that anybody granted anybody a driver's license. There's no way. Um, and how, and you know what, and how short-sighted they are and how selfish they are. Um, and, and you see, unfortunately you see all that when people are under pressure or, you know, self-induced pressure. I don't know how much pressure is Christmas shopping yeah, really should be. Yeah, especially really. on Saturday, you know, Sunday. What kind of pressure, you know, you, unless you work and you may be trying to get to work and you're impatient and you're, you're running late, but, um, I see so many people. I mean, the light changes and they hit the horn. We saw that. Yeah, we saw that yesterday. Mm -hmm. uh, we were at, we were at a traffic at traffic light, we, it, and it wasn't the people behind us. I think they were over on on, on the left side. Um, the light changed, and as the green light was emanating from the light to our eyeballs, they honked the horn. They had already hit the horn, so they were hitting that horn before that light changed. Uh, and I was like, why? Where are you going? We're all going to travel at 80 miles an hour to the next traffic light. And it's that, and it's that level of impatience, like Debbie was talking about a little bit ago, that people um, leave stuff out and the possibility of uh, people getting injured. Um, for And for what? So you could get to the next traffic light? So you could... You get know, there before me? Okay. Let me get out your way and let you go. Uh, I'll see you up there in a minute. But these are all times where we get to practice that patience because it's something I, I believe I do believe is something you have to practice. You do have to practice. Um, it takes years. That's why it's taken me thirty one years. <laughs> I've tried to be a good example. <laughs> I have tried to be a good example. And so, if you are in a relationship and one of you is more patient than the other, then I want to tell the more patient person continue doing what you're doing. Continue, continue, continue being the example. Um, continue the, the practice of keeping your mouth, <laughs> um, because that's really important. Uh, and I'm trying to look at the in, the whole picture, and, and that was something that I missed early in our relationship. Is having a husband that is patient is a blessing. Um, look at the things that that it helps to nurture and help to. You know, uh, we we when we get into arguments or whatever, I have to really push him to to get a, a when a, to get a real strong reaction because he he keeps it he keeps it calm. But when when he has hit his limit, you don't want to be around. I'm, I'm a really nice person. Yes, I, but, he is. Um, but I, you know, it's like any, but it's like anybody else. I, you know, I have I, I have limits. I'm a human being, um, and I'm not perfect, and I am a human being. Uh, but I think it's really for, for me, and, and and this is a whole other video, really. Um, for me, I think it's really important um, what comes out of my face, especially directed towards my wife. Um, hey, Ed, what's up? How's retirement, bro? Um, I'm never going to see it, by the way. <laughs> so you have, have to live my retirement by, by carelessly through you, Ed Mason. Um, but um, so I, I really have taken, I've really taken to heart that it's really super important what I say and what comes out of my pie hole uh, when directed at my wife, even in fr even in frustration. Frustration is not an excuse for me, not an excuse. Um, so it's really important. So it takes, so I've learned to be patient and I've learned to, to stay as under control as I can, which is why that happened. And that's a whole nother video really. And I think that, that, um, a lot of the experts have, to have, have written books and videos and made millions of dollars on, uh, on fair fighting. Remember the, oops, the, yeah. the fair fighting thing we saw on all the family? Mm-hmm. <laughs> It's as stupid, it's as stupid and comical uh, in real life as it was on on, on all in the family, um, I think, uh, because still, in order for things to move forward through conflict, somebody um, has to have a level head. Has to has to have a level head, 
and you have to make sure that you don't strike matches with your tongue and set the whole damn thing on fire to win an argument over something that probably in five days isn't going to matter one way or the other. <laughs> Who cares about the clock being hung? Is that going to change our lives? Exactly. exactly. No. You know, so, so, and I think that that's, you know, and that's the deal, you know what, and I'm going to do a video, but it's only going to be on YouTube, so you're going to have to watch it there, so you're going to have to go to our YouTube channel and subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, and we're going to say it a lot, because I don't know if you knew this, hang on a second, y'all hang on a second, I don't know if you knew this, but when we post to YouTube, YouTube actually listens to the video, not a person, the machine language listens, mm -hmm. and in order for it to, um, to rank it higher... And when we, you know, when I do all my all my magic stuff, it actually listens and goes, "Oh yeah, you mentioned that in the video," so I'll make that a priority. Mm -hmm. A search bar. Did, did you know that? Yeah. See, that's the kind of stuff that I find out when I'm not hanging. I'm not hanging clocks. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm sitting here twiddling my thumbs, that's the kind of stuff I learn. Um, so again, subscribe because I'm gonna write subscribe in the tags. Um, to um, real real talk with Devin Will, real talk with Devin Will. You hear me? You hear me? YouTube. You hear me? Him. <laughs> um, so I think it's I, again. I, th I think it's, it's it's super important that um, that you don't strike matches with your tongue. That even in conflict, how much longer is this? You know what? How 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 long is this, this going to matter in five days? No. Is it going to matter in five weeks? Not at all. You going to remember in five months? No. So there's no reason to burn down your relationship today over it. So sometimes it's better just to treat your marriage like chili. Let it marinate. Let it marinate. Get hot. And delicious and tasty. <laughs> hey, what's up, Mike? What's up, Mike? Uh, we're all... Yeah, no, no, bold, no bold this season, Mike. Uh, so we got lots of time, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Got lots of time. Uh, I'll talk to you later about next year. Maybe we'll go up to homecoming. We haven't been to homecoming, I don't know, in 35 years? Not quite that long. It's been a while. Yeah. It's been a long time. So maybe we'll go up to homecoming. Um, but, you know, this is really important that you are patient and that you practice patience. And if you are the patient spouse, you know that you have to have patience as your spouse grows in that. Because you know, the thing is, it's not easy. No, it's not. It's not easy learning how to be patient. And it's not easy putting up with the person that is. not isn't. patient. <laughs> but you know what? We know, that, we know that you're not going to be patient. We already know. We knew that from jump. Uh, <laughs> so we expect you not to be patient. So, um, so the expectation of that is met. And um, we can sort of dr drudge through it and let the process work out. And most of the time, the process works out. Uh, fast isn't always better. Now isn't always better. And sometimes it is. Sometimes things have to be done quickly. Um, but I think that a lot of patient people who are a little older understand that there's time and place. And, yes. You know, it's funny. And I know that it's time for you, it's not time for you to go because we started a little late. Yeah. Um, but when I, one of the things when I was working in the school system... I was working in a computer lab, and I would get all the student roles from the teachers, and then I would go into my room, and then I would type them all in, 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 a, in a little computer system that, you know, that we had going. And sometimes I would, because it's that's boring as hell, really, uh, to do that by yourself all day long for seven and a half hours, they would see me down in the teacher cafeteria, you know, getting some coffee. Um, and it didn't look like to them I was doing anything. And people had nerve because teachers have nerve that way. So what are you doing? I just, all, all I do is see you drinking. All I do is see you drinking coffee. <laughs> because I can keep my mouth. Uh, I said I'm working, <laughs> working. And then it, it was always the same thing. And then they would bring their class to my lab after I got their roles and find out where their students were, and they they would come in. And then the students, they would walk into the room and all their student um, students' names would be on each of the computers with their lessons ready to go. And they would go, how'd that happen? Oh, I was drinking coffee. 
while I wasn't doing anything? <laughs> this is what I was doing. You're like, oh. So sometimes you don't know what people are doing. You don't know. You don't know. Just because of what it looks like. Yes. Uh, it may not be that at all. Yes, they may be sleeping. <laughs> they may be. And I sleep. But Debbie knows why I sleep. Um, after 2014, um, napping helped me recover. Actually helped me recover faster. Going slower actually helped me recover faster. So you see the bright shining face here on Monday morning that you that you all know and love. Um, so again, patience is super important, uh, and, and having patience with somebody that um, you've seen naked is really important. <laughs> I I love putting things that way because people put that that shock to you. You're like what? But having patience um, with someone that you that you stood before your friends and your family and God said that you'd love forever is super is super important. Yes. Um, I think I take it as part commitment. of that is part of my vows. That is, you know what, and and I think that if you know the next wedding I do because I am a notary, uh, I'm going to insert those in those vows. I think I will, mm -hmm. uh, because I think it's it's incredibly important um, that you practice patience with one another. All right, speaking of patience, we got to get out of here yes. uh, because again we start a little later. And I have to work today. Yeah, you're gonna work. Uh, you, you get to play with all your friends. You get to see all your friends today. They can ask you all sorts of questions. You, yeah. you, have, you have to go and and, 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 and and write an email that said what I did on my week's vacation. <laughs> what I did on my week's vacation. <laughs> I have to turn in a report. You turn in a, a, a report. Oh, oh, what you did on vacation? I have proof of what I did. We do. We do. Yeah. Kitchen looks like somebody came in and remodeled it. Okay. We got to get out of here and make one for somebody else. So until we see you again, go out there and learn something, love somebody, and for goodness sakes, y'all take care of yourself. We will and see be you patient. when we see you. Relax. <laughs> Peace.